apart from the factory, what other experience do you have? I did own my own startup for a while. Oh, great. And how did that go? Not well. Uh, the model was great, but I, I think it was more of a timing thing. Hey, <laughs> we've all been there. It's about how we bounce back. Oh, <laughs> I should go. But it's been lovely meeting up. We, as the saying goes, will certainly be in touch. Well, thank you so much for seeing me. I'm really grateful. <laughs> Pleasure. It's Jay, you really need to thank. He and I go way back. He knew we had a vacancy and put your name forward. Reckoned you'd be a perfect fit. And am I? Look, I'd really like to know if I'm in with a shot or not, as the case may be. And please, you can be honest. Heard from Liv yet? No, not for a while. Do you reckon she'll call her? That girl is as tough as it gets. She'll be fine. Look, how's this for an idea? Why don't you not work on the head and go home and chill out? You mean take my mind off Liv? Yeah. Look, I'll, I'll pick up Seb after my meeting and then we can do something. Come on, you know what makes sense? Yeah, why not? I'll tell you what, I'll pick up Seb, yeah? Going for the road? Well, maybe not. Come on. Come on. That won't be a minute, mate, all right? Won't be a minute. Liv. Hiya. You all right? What about you? <coughs> hey? Well, she's your mum. So John to have you. Well, listen, seriously. If you need to talk to anyone about anything, you know where I am, don't you? I'm gonna have to, I'll call you back. Who the hell are you? Give him to me, I mean it. Whoa. One of the accidents now, what do we are in? How do you know my name? Research. Always do your research. So Jill Tate sent you, did he? Don't know what you're on about. Funny, really. I thought you'd remember me. You know, after taking all that time and trouble to spring me and your mate from the prison van. So here's the thing, you're going to do exactly what I say. Just give him to me, please. You're doing fine, aren't you? Uncle Sid's not going to work you, is he? Well, I say that. What are you even doing here? What do you want? This'll be the bit where he acts all innocent. Pretends he don't know what I'm on about. I don't. You've got the wrong guy, I don't know anything about a prison break. Yeah. Thought you'd say that. See, I knew I was just a byproduct. It was the Barton boy you lot were after. I asked around. Folk reckoned you and him were bezies. Once I knew you were related to Kane, it all fell into place. Two of you, in it together, were you? So what are you after then, money? Finally! Not the sharpest tool in the box, are you? I'll be on the run for the rest of my life. It's not a cheap way to live. And I'm not a greedy man. So why don't we call it 100k? That suit you, all right? What? Please, just give him to me. Why not? It's starting to stink, if you know what I mean. You should take me seriously, mate. See? You know my family. The McFarlane's. Name ring a bell. Is that supposed to scare me? It should do. You were selling drugs for us, weren't you? Surprised we never met. How the hell do you expect me to find 100k? You're a dingle. You'll find a way. Because if you don't, I'll put you and Kane in Ozzy. And then when you both lead up, the cops will get an anonymous tip off letting them know who sprung me and Adam Barton. So I reckon your best bet's to get me the cash. Don't you? I don't get it. 